Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. December 3rd through the 6th, 168 professional golfers from around the world will be competing for a guaranteed purse of $300,000, the third largest purse in South Carolina golf history at Palmetto Hall Plantation as part of the eGolf Gateway Tour. Here to tell us more, Chief Operating Officer Stuart Moore. Stuart, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Absolutely. So how has the eGolf Gateway Tour risen to prominence in the developmental tour golf ranks? Well, I think, you know, certainly when you look at purses of this stature, um, it's fairly unprecedented on uh, this level of golf, what we like to call, I guess, the, the third tier behind the PGA and Web.com tours. So what we've done for, the, you know, over a decade now is isolate some of the best golf courses and venues in the country and pair that with some of the largest purses uh, on this level of golf to kind of create the best atmosphere for uh, players making their way to the PGA Tour. And so what age group are we kind of looking at for, for, for this group? Most of these kids are, you know, right out of college up to, you know, mid-30s. Then we have some guys who are, you know, in their mid-40s working towards the Champions Tour. So I would say the vast majority are, you know, your 22 to 28-year-olds really kind of giving it a go before uh, reality might set in right. you know, if, the, if the dream doesn't come to fruition. And this tour, about how many um, golfers will be part of this tour? Uh, well, this event will have 168 players here at Hilton Head at Palmetto Hall, but you know, throughout the year we'll have anywhere from 600, 800 different players competing wow. throughout the country. Wow, that's fabulous. So, what are some of the hurdles these players face on their way to the PGA Tour? Well, the, the toughest thing is keeping yourself afloat. You know, it's definitely it's not a, uh, a cheap road, so to speak. They pay between 1,100 and 1,300 a week to compete. So, wow. you know, if you miss three or four cuts in a row, you know, you can rack up you know six thousand dollars worth of debt pretty quickly, but. You know, our, our winner this week has taken an estimated fifty thousand dollar first place prize. So, you know, stuff like that. You know, if you're playing well, you can definitely make a living at it. But you know, the hardest thing is really sustaining. You know, the the, uh, the financial side of things, making yeah. your way up there. And I don't think everybody's always aware that there's that financial end to it. I mean, I think they think people. A lot of these guys are right. out there just golfing. Yeah, it's a tough. <laughs> and it's it's a not. There's no financial right. drain. Yeah. You know? it's a tough sales job. You know, in right. sales, if you have a bad week, you don't make anything. Out here, if you have a bad week, you're probably sixteen hundred in the hole. So it's. Wow. You know, it, it's definitely a tough road to hoe. So, how unique is a guarantee? Three hundred thousand dollar purse on this level of pro golfers. Uh, the last time it was done was our tour in two thousand nine. Wow. Um, you know, so I think we've had this million dollar championship series this year. This is the fourth and final event. The first three events were uh, guaranteed purses of two twenty five, two twenty five, and two hundred fifty thousand. So this is still significant. Of, correct. Yeah, this is kind of <laughs> the pinnacle of the season, and okay. uh, it yeah, it's never happened before. You know, except for two thousand nine when we did it the first time. So it's right. it's very unique. And so, who are some of the notable players in the field? Well, we've got some great web.com tour players, guys like Edward Lohr, who won a couple times a few years ago, and Harold Varner, who was one of the best uh, players on the web.com tour this year. And then locally, Chris Epperson, um, who's been in Hilton really? Head and oh, played at yeah, Armstrong Atlantic State yeah. uh, years ago in Savannah, who came off the web.com tour this year. So he's playing a, uh, a hometown event on a golf course he knows very well. Yeah. And, and speaking of golf courses, you guys continually look to Palmetto Hall Plantation to host some of its biggest events. You know, why is that? Yeah, well, you know, we've been working with Palmetto Hall and Lisa Dahlstrom at the Heritage Golf Group since 2010. And I think fr from our standpoint, you know, we're a small business and we need all the help we can get at a top flight facility. And Palmetto Hall provides both of that, you know, the volunteers and the members and the Heritage Golf staff, you know, going above and beyond the call of duty to, to make it easy for us to do our jobs and then putting forth to, you know, demanding golf courses in the Cup and the Hills course. So uh, it makes for a great week and it, it, it makes our jobs a lot easier when, you know, we have so many people that, you know, we can really rely on to help us out. Sure, and the golf courses are fabulous. They're unbelievable. I mean, they're yeah. in perfect shape. You know, we always have our, we always kick off our season in February at Palmetto Hall, and this is our first time playing there in December. And, you know, knock on wood, the weather's supposed to be pretty good, and the golf courses just look great. So what about best days for fans to come out and see the action? And, and is it just open to the public? Yes, it is. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no admission, so fans can come out and watch these guys, and it's great. You know, obviously, you know, the Heritage, if you're down at Harbor Town, mm -hmm. you, you got to pay and use ropes, and you can only get so close. But you can get up close and personal with these guys and watch them and talk to them after the rounds, or you know, watch them on the range. So it makes for a unique experience that you might not be able to get on uh, on larger tours. Um, but I would say the best day is probably Saturday. Saturday, um, we'll have standard bearers out with the final groups and a good crowd. The Palmetto Hall members always support it. Uh, to the tilt, so it should be a good crowd uh, around 18. I think that's the 6th. Saturday, December 6th, yep. Okay, great. And thank you so much for yes, joining us absolutely. today. Absolutely. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. Appreciate it, absolutely. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.